What is good YouTube? My name is Marvin and today's tutorial I'll be showing you how you can do a pretty simple but clean paper transition effect. I know a lot of y'all have seen it in music videos and it might seem hard but today I'm going to be showing you how you can do it without Photoshop. Pretty simple paper transition effect but you won't even notice how simple it is. You probably think I put a lot of work into it but it's really not that much work to it and I just want to say thank you guys for the support on my last video. With that being said, we'll get into today's video. Right, so once you have opened up all your project files, you guys can see I already have my stuff right here i will leave a link in the description below i did provide everything that i'm gonna be using in this video what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a perfect spot in the video where we want to do it so for example in this video before i did it here as a transition you can see it right there you can see it's a pretty simple effect but when you wash it you won't even be able to notice it so i'm gonna show you how to do it right now we're gonna find a good spot in the video we're gonna try to do it maybe from the money to here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the little camera right here. We're gonna press that. We're gonna hit, make sure the import into project is checked. And then we're gonna hit okay. Once you have that, we're gonna drag it over. Once you have it here. Make sure it is on the first frame of the video. So we drag it a little bit over here. Make sure you click on the clip that you're about to edit. So we're gonna go here and get in the opacity tool. We're gonna get on the pen tool and we're gonna do a pad over it, our object. So we're gonna mask pretty simple. You just have to go here. So it doesn't have to be perfect since it's supposed to be a paper cutout, so it's not gonna have to be perfect. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna speed it up for you guys. So you don't have to watch me just go over this whole thing. So here we have our, our object already masked out. I'm gonna show you guys. Like I said, it does not have to be perfect. We can we can leave this inside. It doesn't matter because we're gonna do it's supposed to be like a paper effect that we're gonna add to it. So now that we have our, our object cut out, we masked it out. Now we're gonna go and just really just start doing the effect. So I'm gonna drag the little paper ball that I have here. But you have to make sure that it is in fact in the middle so you can do it. So we're gonna go, this one is it's gonna be the first, the first one. So let me drag the other one. Make sure that it's this one. We're gonna go three frames to the left. So one, two, three. Gonna delete that, delete that. Drag it down. We have this already right here. We're gonna drag the other one as well. We're gonna go two to the left. One, two. And we're gonna cut it here, cut it here. We're gonna delete the rest. We drag it down. Now you have this. We're gonna make this one a little small. don't like how it looks like you kind of have like the little jump effect that is like opening it up you see that and then we have that so this one's gonna be a um i'm gonna do five frames and we're gonna see how it looks like it really depends on how you like it you can play around just make it as long as, as, long as you want it doesn't matter uh we're gonna drag this one up and then we're gonna drag drag the find the paper under this one so make sure that on the first clip on top of this one the blend mode have to be on multiply so you can you can kind of get the paper type of effect as you can see right there and we're just gonna make a mask over this one like i said it doesn't have to be perfect you can really just do whatever so if you have the whole point of this is to make it look like you just cut it out of paper so Make sure that you do an outline, it doesn't have to be perfect, like I said. I'm just gonna go. I love you, Bobby. Just do a quick outline. Boom, now we have that. We're gonna cut it down here. And this is how it kind of should look like. We're gonna, we're gonna see how it looks like right now. Let me, we're gonna add another 
frame to this one. We're gonna move it down here. You can see it's not that hard, it's pretty simple. You just know how to play with your the papers because you have that opening type of effect. So we wanna make sure it looks very clean and it doesn't look too still, so we're gonna move this one a little bit down. So that will be one, two, three, four frames. Instead of five, it's gonna be four now. We're gonna drag it a little bit up to where the clip starts, which is right there. We're gonna move it up. This is how it should look like. So you have a pretty easy paper effects transition. Like I said, it's not complicated. Make sure you play around with the with the scale of the of every single object so for example this one we can make it a little bit big but make sure it have to be lined up with like they have to be lined up in order to make it look good so this one right here and you want to make sure it's lined up so we're gonna drag it up we're gonna drag it up so it is on the same spot and it doesn't look weird like it just came out of nowhere so you can see we're gonna have to drag this one a little to the left and a little down right there. So now we go here, remove it, and this is what it should look like. There we go. Now you have a kind of a clean effect without even putting that much work into it. Pretty simple. Like I said, this one is one, two, three, four frames, and then one, two, three frames for this one, and then the object is four frames as well so you have one two three four and then it comes to your clip this is how it should look like pretty simple effect like i said it does not take too long just be creative with your craft you know there's multiple ways you, you don't have to do it what others do you can just make your own thing your own and yeah so like i said that was it for the video guys thank you for watching make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow's tutorial tomorrow's tutorial is going to be a little different but I'm trying to bring a, at least something to upload every day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.